Have you heard about a diamond star that could put all the riches on Earth to shame? Or how about twinkling stars with surfaces made of solid iron? So let's take a look at these weird stars and try to unravel their mysteries. There's a star in the Centaurus constellation that was nicknamed Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Yes, it was named after a Beatles song, because it basically is a Beatles song. You see, the star was discovered to have a massive diamond at its core. Now, you may be wondering how big this diamond really is. Well, it's estimated to be about 10 billion trillion trillion carats. That's a one followed by 34 zeros. To put that into perspective, the Hope Diamond, which is one of the largest diamonds on Earth, is a measly 45.5 carats in comparison. Can you imagine the size of the ring you could make with this star diamond? And it's about the same mass as our sun. But don't get too excited about the prospect of owning this diamond just yet. Even if you were Jeff Bezos, you wouldn't be able to afford it. According to Ronald Winston, CEO of Harry Winston Inc., the diamond is so big that it would likely depress the value of the market. So you'd have to settle for a much smaller diamond engagement ring. One interesting thing about the Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds star is that it's incredibly dense. In fact, it has the mass of the sun crammed into an object only a third the diameter of Earth. That's like trying to fit an elephant into a shoebox. And yet, despite its massive size, it's actually quite cool, with a core temperature of only about 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. By comparison, the core temperature of our sun is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Since the discovery of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, several other crystallized stars have been found, some with diamond hearts the size of Earth. It just goes to show that the universe is full of surprises, and you never know what kind of treasures you might find out there in the vast expanse of space. And this isn't the only weird star we've discovered so far. There are many strange, unexplained things in outer space. For example, let's take Vega. Vega, also known as Alpha Lyrae, is a bright star located in the constellation Lyra. It's one of the brightest stars in the night sky and is easily visible to the naked eye from most parts of the world. Now, Vega may look like a beautiful, bright star to us Northern Hemisphere folks, but little do we know, it's hiding a secret. It's actually quite squashed. You see, Vega's high spin rate causes it to bulge at the equator, kind of like a cosmic belly. It rotates once every 12.5 hours, which is pretty fast for a star, and it throws material out around its waistline. It's almost like the star is hula hooping. This material is further from the center of the star, so it experiences less gravity, causing it to cool and darken, leading to a gravity darkening effect. So Vega is basically a cosmic fitness guru's worst nightmare. Although for us stargazers, it still looks round because we're looking at it from Earth's pole end. However, if we saw it from a different angle, we'd get a very different view. One that might make us wonder if Vega has been sneaking some cosmic donuts behind our backs. But while we might joke about its equatorial waistline, there's no denying that Vega is still one of the brightest and most fascinating stars in our galaxy. But if you want something actually bright, then how about a supernova? Supernovas are giant space booms that occur when stars reach the end of their life cycle. It's like the grand finale of a fireworks show, but on a cosmic scale. They release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will produce in its entire lifetime. And this is exactly what happened to the next star of our show. This celestial object with a weird name, IPFT14HLS. But there's a catch. It isn't your average supernova. Even though this star made a blast in 2014 and started to fade away like usual, 
recently it made an unexpected comeback and brightened once more. <laughs> Talk about a dramatic entrance. And if that wasn't enough, this thing continued to fade and brighten at least five times in total, which is a bit like a yo-yo. It's like the star just couldn't make up its mind about whether it wanted to stay bright or fade away into the abyss. Also, when scientists measured the supernova's spectrum, they found that it was evolving 10 times slower than other stars. Maybe it's a supernova that just wants to enjoy its golden years. All in all, this object is a real mystery. But this is not the only star suffering from the 2-in-1 syndrome. At first glance, M.Y. Camelopardalis appears to be a fairly common star. But after a closer look, astronomers concluded it was actually two stars in one. These two stars are orbiting each other at over 600,000 miles per hour. It's a contact binary star system, which means that the stars are so close together that they share a common envelope. In other words, they're so close to each other that they're practically smooching. These celestial Romeo and Juliet are one of the most massive known binary stars out there. Each of them individually weighs in at a whopping 32 and 38 solar masses, respectively. Astronomers also think that they might be on the brink of a stellar merger, which means that one day, they might just combine into one giant superstar. Wow, who knew space could be so romantic? Next, introducing another long name, HD 140283, also known as Methuselah's star. This little guy in the constellation Libra has been around for a while, and by a while, I mean a really long time. Actually, scientists used to think it was older than the universe itself. Just imagine if it turned out to be true. But eventually, they figured out that it's actually around 14.8 billion years old, a peer of our universe. That's still pretty impressive, though. This star is so old, it remembers when the Milky Way was just a baby galaxy. But despite all that, this star still has some life left in it. It's just starting to expand into a red giant, which is kind of like when you hit your 30s. Talk about aging well. But if all these things are somewhat comprehensible, then how about a star that was literally named WTF star by scientists? No, I'm not kidding. At least it used to be. Now it's called Tabby's star. It also has a more scientific name, but that one is a bit of a mouthful. But what's really bizarre about this star is its irregular dimming. For some reason, it doesn't glow like a normal star, but blinks, as if someone turned on and off a flashlight. And it's not just a little dip, we're talking up to a 22% drop in light. So it's not because it sometimes gets blocked by a planet or something. Scientists have come up with all sorts of explanations for this strange behavior, from comets to dust to even an extraterrestrial megastructure. That's right, but before your imagination runs too wild, it's important to note that the most likely explanation is just plain old dust. Perhaps the star is surrounded by some kind of dust cloud, and sometimes it prevents us from seeing it clearly. Although this explanation is still not 100% confirmed, there are still plenty of mysteries surrounding Tabby's star. One thing's for sure, it may be a bit of an oddball, but that's what makes it so fascinating. So, there you have it, folks. We're left in awe of the incredible diversity and strangeness of the cosmos. There's so much more to discover out there. So, let's keep exploring and keep being amazed by the wonders of the universe. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.